Hey, what's up, guys? You just Rick here, and I'm on my Guardian. Gonna give you guys the long-awaited, very long-awaited Guardian skill build. Uh, this is gonna be for PvP, so if you want PvE or something, this is not the place for you. This is gonna be strictly for PvP. So one thing I want to point out before we start, my build may not be like ones you've seen on websites and stuff. And reason being, mine is time tested and it's personal to me. So it's it's suited to my playstyle and I max skills that I believe in every way I should get and do not max skills that I am not going to get at all. So my build is not like ones you'll read out there. And I'll explain every reason I have for, for picking them. But don't go assuming that this build is perfect for you or it's it's the best build out there. It's just the one that works for me. So without any further ado guys, let's jump right into it and start looking into some skills that we should not be picking up. Alright guys, I think the command skills are the most important skills of what not to pick up, so let's start with that first. First of all, I didn't like to get flank attack. This is a skill that I have find no way that you can use in combo or in any situation. It just causes, it just really causes a hindrance to you because then you can't left click and attack at the same time. Another skill that I do not want you to pick up, guys listen to me on this, don't pick up defensive expertise, it sucks. It has a thing on it that if you right click while you use it, it does a little shield bash. Well you want to do the shield reflection instead of the shield bash. If you get this skill, you'll never be able to use the shield reflection, that's why you don't pick that up. Another skill I didn't like picking up is the shield blast, and the reason being, uh, my playstyle doesn't really utilize it very much. I can see some situations where you can use it, but uh, not that great in my opinion. Round swing 3 and 4 cost a lot of damage, they're actually really cool skills, but they don't have any stun on hit like 1 and to do so a lot of damage but just for that reason i don't like picking it up here you can see that my charge attack is level five for the prerequisite for charge or breakneck charge if i could make any changes i would probably try to get this higher level for the charging distance increase and that's a change i'll have to make later other than that you see that i have level three on backstep thrust for the prerequisite for backstep upper and after that everything else is level one so seriously guys listen on the defensive expertise don't get that Next we'll look into the action skills. I didn't pick up a few of them, so listen up. Upper swing is one of them. I don't really like using upper swing in combo. You can use punishing uppercut in just way better in my opinion. These two buffing skills right here, Titan Strength and Iron Heart, I didn't pick them up. And the only reason being is because in PvP, Titan Strength has a duration of 180 seconds. Iron Heart has a duration in 150 seconds. And I won't be able to use them every round. That's too long of a duration or a cooldown time. So my my opinion is to dump points into skills that I'll be able to use every round and if I dump them into these buff skills then I won't be able to use them every round. So that's my rationale for that. You can totally get these skills though. Don't don't just listen to me. Um, Shield Smash is a skill that it's good. It's certainly good but I don't think that it's the greatest in terms of what you might think it'd be used for. It's a throw. You throw your shield and I guess it's a range skill but it's I don't like using it at all. Um, Titan Crash is another skill that I can't find any situation where I can combo into this skill, so I've, I'll never find myself hitting with it. So that's 12 skill points that I don't want to be using on any skill. Other than that, you see that I have level 1 on everything else. Threatening Shout is the last skill that I started dumping points into, so that's why it's level 7. It would be max if I had a choice, so. Lastly, for passive skill, Titan's Guardian, I obviously only have level 1, so you're not going to pick this up. It's not, you can't use it in PvP anyway. Defensive Stance is used for getting the evasive dash. And that's why it's level 1. Shield Repair you don't need to bother getting. Same thing with the MP increase. Now you see a skill that um, a lot of people mentioned in my other video that the crit passive you don't need to pick it up because you can hit the cap without it. And I agree with you now. So if I had a choice, don't get the crit passive buff because you can get to the max crit of I think it's 75 without needing the crit pass. Anyway guys, that's all I need to talk about of the skills you don't need to pick up. Now we're going to talk about the skills that I did pick up. So I'll give you my reasoning for that. Okay. God, I love that song. Okay, guys, but this is how this guide is going to work. Basically, whoa, what? You guys see that? <laughs> wow. Cool little graphic, man. Okay, so here at the top, you can see I have the shield displayed. On the shield, you can see that there are up to three circles, which will display all the skills. And right next to it will be the title of the skill. Obvious enough. Here on the bottom left corner, and I'll point with this arrow, if there is a level I'd like you to get, it'll be displayed here. So, specified levels will be here, corresponding with the circles that are on the top left corner of the skill icons. Much more classy, I think. We got on the bottom right corner will be one of three designations. It's either going to be U for utility, that is usually only level 1, M for max it, which basically means max it. I don't know what the max level is, but max it, guys, seriously. Or P for preference. That means usually either utility or max it. 
But really, it's your preference. You level it to what you think is right. But other than that, guys, I think that should be it for the instructions. But let's get right into it, guys. First, let's talk about our action skills. Bash 1, 2, and 3 are pretty much utility skills. It causes a great juggle off the ground that is pretty much unescapable if you time it right. Awesome utility, but not for damage. Press kick is kind of debatable, but I think it's a utility skill. A lot of people like leveling this to get the guard break, but I don't think you should be initiating with this skill alone. It causes a stun on hit and it's awesome for utility. Thrust kick is a skill I believe you should max on any fighter class because it does tremendous damage scaling. And you, especially with Guardian, you can combo into this skill very well. Round swing 1 and 2, again not 3 and 4, are great skills because they can stun on hit. As well as when you level it up, it not only increases the damage, but the range of the skill also awesome skill i think titan's guardian i see as a utility skill it does decent damage on level up but it's probably not worth the skill points you put into it in fact i would say it's not worth the skill points you put into it it's way too many punishing upper i cannot explain enough how awesome this skill is there's tremendous damage and it has awesome utility max it max max rushing wind is a type of skill that is kind of preference a lot of people don't like it i love it the damage scaling is awesome and against certain enemies and in certain combos it does tremendous damage i say max it for sure Iron Skin I see as a utility skill. Leave it level 1 because the only thing you really want to use Iron Skin for is the super armor buff. You don't need to max it for the decreased movement speed or the extra defense buff. Threatening Shout. Now you saw in the previous section that I didn't have this skill maxed but I still cannot suggest enough to max this skill if you have the skill points. Because it causes a massive slow duration and for a very long time in PvP. Expert Guard, I can't see you using this skill unless you max it. It causes the wider range the higher you level it, and it causes a knockdown even on block, so it's a great skill to use in any situation. Grab Spike is a skill that I see a lot of damage potential coming out of, so I say max it, hands down. Double Combination is a great skill, you definitely need to get it level 1, but I'm going to say P for preference. It's certainly a useful skill, but it's not for everyone. Know that the first hit causes a stun on hit, and after that, every hit after that will be an iframe, so you cannot get hit while you're using the double combination. Earthquake is another skill I'll list as preference. It does a tremendous amount of damage, but you definitely need to get a level 1 for utility. But if you find yourself hitting a lot with this skill, and you can use it effectively, max it for sure. The damage scaling is awesome. Now onto our command skills. Dash attack is one of those skills where I would say it's preference. You may not find yourself using it, then don't bother getting it, but I can see a few situations where it could be useful. But preference, if you're not going to use it, don't bother getting it. So okay, let's talk about the back steps. Back step thrust, not good for damage, only caps at level 10. But back step upper does a tremendous damage boost when you max it to max level. It does a ton of damage. I say get prerequisite level 3 for back step thrust and max back step upper. Just so much damage, and you really need that for Guardian, who doesn't have too many skills that do that much damage. Your two grab skills, grab strike, definitely max grab strike, does tremendous damage and is pretty much unescapable. Pod driver, I would level level 1 for utility. There's a lot of situations where you want to use the iframe or catch people into the grab. That's a great skill to use also. Crushing steel is also another preference type of skill, but I say in my opinion I'd max it because it does tremendous damage scaling and has a lot of utility even against people who you might not think it might work against. Defensive dash definitely get this skill guys great great freaking mobility I would be I would hate playing guardian to be honest if I didn't have this skill Chill reflection it says it causes a higher level stun at the higher levels, but the stun difference is Barely noticeable so keep it at level one for sure for utility And if you didn't get defensive technician like I told you to then you can use this skill flawlessly the two charging skills charge attack and breakneck charge I'm gonna say are both preference Get them both at least a prerequisite, so charge attack level 5 and break neck level 1. But I'm going to say preference on all the rest. I have no idea what was going to work for you. If you're going to, if you want to travel a long distance with charge attack, definitely max charge attack. But other than that, really, it's really just your play style. As far as the passives go, attack mastery 1 and 2 are all maxed. Same with defensive mastery 1, 2, and 3, as well as the HP increase. Now, I mentioned earlier, I did not suggest maxing critical increase because you can get to maximum crit threshold without getting the passive, so I don't really recommend that. Also get defensive stance level 1 just for the prerequisite for that awesome skill of defensive dash. 
Alright guys, I think that's about all I wanted to cover about this skill build. Maybe not everything about the skills, but hopefully the build is what you guys wanted to see. But anyway, as always guys, I love the response. A lot of you guys have been PMing me, asking for PvP, asking me for skill builds and stuff. I hope this video has helped you, and I want to help you guys in the future. Just PM me in-game at Sir Rick. None of my other characters, please. Just that one, Sir Rick, and I'll be happy to help you out. Add me as a friend in game, subscribe to my channel, like this video, favorite this video, please. I want I want to help people out in this game. So I'm gonna be uploading other videos and other skill builds possibly. I'm making other characters and stuff. So trust me, there's gonna be a lot of stuff on this channel to help you guys out. Anyway guys, thanks for the view again and uh, have a good day. I'll catch you guys later.